Ooh, Metroid 4? Prime? Nah, I'm just kidding. Metroid Prime 4. I don't, I don't think that, uh... I don't think they'd show that here. It'd be pretty... That would be, that would be like a, uh... That would be like a, uh... Out there. Kind of like... Blow people's mind kind of thing. But, I think... I think the Zelda DLC, you know, maybe drop it, like, straight up be like, it's out now. Because it's supposed to come out this month anyways. That'd be, a, like, a nice expected kind of announcement, but it would still be pretty cool if they were like, yeah, it's out now to download, that kind of thing. Um, but as far as, like, I don't know, I mean, we know there's a Fire Emblem game coming next year, but we don't know what character... And I guess at this point, or we don't know, like, what it looks like or anything like that. So, good. I'm gonna do something like that. Uh, there's that rumor about uh, the next. Um, oh, what's it called? The next Soul Calibur? And, like, my, the, the part of the rumor is it's coming to Switch, so it's like. What about, like, even if you didn't do Link? Even Link, because Link, we all know, like, he was the best guest character. Like, there's no question. He was the most unique. His, he was he was good, too. Um, but you could probably, like, take a Fire Emblem character. I feel like a Fire Emblem character would fit in really well as, like, a guest character in the Nintendo version of that game. I'd, that'd be pretty cool. I don't know. Um... So yeah, like announce maybe that. Uh maybe like Namco Bandai. Namco Bandai might announce something. Even though I'm pretty sure they have their own event coming up soon. Smash. Yeah, I feel like Smash would be big. It would dr drive pe people go nuts. But I feel like Smash is more of something you would see in Nintendo's own direct or like E3 from them. Because they know it's it's a big it's a big franchise. It doesn't matter where they announce it. It's a big announcement. But um, <clears throat> I think the Zelda thing, yeah, like I that's I feel like that's a pretty safe bet. If it's not announced here, then I'm gonna be kind of shocked. Like, then when are they gonna announce it? You know. So. Whoa, pug! Watch the language, my boy. I'm just kidding. Though I do have some feel, I have a bad feeling that some kid will be watching this and be like, "Hey, what's this word mean, mom, dad? This this guy, radical pug. What did? What's that Ladies word and mean? gentlemen, the pre-show will begin in one minute. Um. What else? Parents, don't let your kids watch the game awards. That's all I can say. It's probably not going to be family friendly. They tend to show trailers for like mature games at these things anyways, so... Probably shouldn't be watching it, unless you're watching it with them, maybe. Yeah. Death Stranding. If there's not a Death Stranding trailer here, it'll be crazy, because... Three? I want to say three of the people involved with it are here at this event, presenting. It would I would be shocked if there was not. I know that he is good friends with Hojima, so... Pretty sure. I'd like to see Reggie out there. But if, it, you know, for some reason Reggie can't be there, I would, Bill... Bill would be pretty great. So, you know what though? Think about this. What if all of a sudden Miyamoto is out there? Boom, Pikmin. He just re he just reveals Pikmin right there. That's a game that could get revealed because literally, we know it's a game they've been working on forever, and they said they've had done for a long time. So, there you, there you go, right there. There's your viewer discretion right off the bat 
probably getting us prepped for the craziness that it is whatever the Death Stranding trailer. <laughs> I have no idea about this pre-show. Tell me if it's uh, loud enough this year. Wow, for you guys. So much new. We, I think this year we've really hit our stride. I am <clears> so <throat> excited about the show we're about to put on um, across a bunch of dimensions. We have amazing awards this year, some incredible races. Uh, we've got the Game Awards Orchestra for the first time. You might want to. You might want to, you might check with our pug. Long requested thing. We can finally do it this year. We have more world premieres than ever before tonight, and we've got some great stuff. Oh, God, they're throwing the around the world premiere the stuff, so the, new the question is, PUBG, which is, is it an actual world premiere? For fans of that game, right? But we also have brand new game announcements from big studios and small studios and some things that, like, you know, reading the forums on the Internet, I'm going to go back tomorrow and, like, you got to put on your Dorito said, Pope like, hat and get about to happen. pumped um, for some game just, announcements. Like, as an event, as a live yes. event, last year you were in China for the first time. Yeah. And I understand we're like in even more countries this year. Yeah, one of the great things about the Game Awards is that people all around the world get to watch you gotta it. get your Mountain Dew. You, you gotta get your, your is it the Chic Quattro Razor? Have, you know, Do you guys remember that guy? The, the there's a giant Chic Quattro Razor dude. And, and your Doritos. And Gamer Fuel. And, uh, in Japan, uh, it'll be in Brazil, even in Russia, it'll be in all these countries, and it's kind of amazing <laughs> when we get these, like, maps back the day after, of, like, social conversation around What the I'm hoping it's for, maybe some, like, live musical in performances. Africa, in Australia, in <laughs> to be fair, if it's, like, if it's, like, game show, music, the game that's pretty that's good. Pretty if it's, like, if it's, like, if it's just, like, some, some you know, artist, then... Uh, that's when it starts to get a little bad. Pug, unless there's some yeah, Beyonce not, not game, like the, the like, and she's, like that. You want I think she's a wonderful it's singer it's a, and everything. I just, uh, let's, really let's, let's really keep, keep it about the games, and, and, and that's all that I really save. I mean, maybe there is a Beyonce game. Maybe it's a, uh... A that's VR game where you are year, Beyonce. Doom, there you go. To then that's yeah, fine. Everyone, you know, that was like a little unsure, like how would this work? Um, you know, Mick Gordon came over. He rocked the house. That video, people continued to watch online and really loved it. One of the things I wanted to make sure we did with the orchestra tonight is that we put together something. They're talking about music right um, now. So, you know, we're not just playing one song from one game. We're moving on. It's like we're doing interesting ways of blending these games together, interesting medleys. Our orchestra has some rock elements to it, and it's uh, it's it's a little unexpected, and I hope it's something unique, and if it is, you know, we'll, we'll keep doing it. There's two new categories this year. Yes. We've got Best Ongoing Game, um, and that's a category that I think reflects how we play games is changing. By that, I mean, you know, normally with the Game Awards, it's like, oh, what games came out this year? And it's yeah. like, they ship by Thanksgiving, they're eligible for an award, and then let's move on to a whole new cycle of games the next year. Well, that's not how people play games now. Uh, you know, folks play games again and again and again, and Overwatch well, the game of the year last year, I think it's a great example of a game that is still heavily played this year, um, and, you know, hopefully into the future. So, best ongoing game is meant to... Wario Land 5, Wario Commits that Tax have continued to update their game with new content patches, DLC, other things like that. And then also the student category. Well, again, I guess this is a pre-show. I'm really excited about is looking at the next generation of game designers. Okay, this is the other thing. A lot of the people who win the awards are like award shows and stuff already know ahead of time like that they won the award. If they're involved with the process of the show. So like, let's say that like Breath of the Wild maybe was to win like game of the year. If they knew that already, then they could have some. Nintendo could have something prepped right after that's announced to be like the DLCs out tonight, that kind of thing. You know, I could see something like that happening, where there might be something associated with the game that wins that happens. So. If PUBG wins, well, uh, it doesn't matter. That's what I'll say. Like, wh whatever game wins, it does. That's not. There's no. Like, was PUBG the most 
important game to you this year? Probably not. It wasn't to me. Like, you know, I would say it's one of those things where, like, you know, some people, their favorite game this year was clearly Persona 5, which is fine because it's a great game. Some people's favorite game this year was uh, Horizon Zero Dawn, which is fine because it's also a great game. Same thing with Mario, Zelda. Maybe some people's favorite game this year was PUBG, but it's, again, it's not a completed game. It's more in there for popularity's sake. It's not up to the same quality as those other four, for sure. Also, I probably would have put a different, at least a different game in there. Especially this year, that's what shocked me. The fact that it's there, clearly for popularity stuff. Like, yeah, that's the reason it's there. Like, it's like, it's almost the same case of Overwatch, but Overwatch is a finished game, and it's a fine game, like... So, it's it's fine that it was in there, you know? It is kind of a service -y game, in the same way, but it has much more polish than a game that's clear... It's not out of the, it's not even finished yet, that's the, the thing that's weird about it, so... Big experience. It's going to be really interesting to see what ultimately ends up winning the award tonight, and I think it's going to be a very tight and race. And that's the thing. If you love um, PUBG, you love that's fine. Goals, it's just like it doesn't. It does not yeah, fit that category of so those Jeff, other games. That, which is a shame because I do feel like there's some beginning. stuff that doesn't what get do recognized because of that. But again, it's, about it's an award show that doesn't matter. So. Their lives to creating this kind of it's more it's more the event itself you know just to kind of the way at least I look at this thing is like the whole point is it's supposed to celebrate games only gonna get better so because games are this blend of technology and entertainment and that means that you know yeah that's all that really matters is just recognizing them even better let's celebrate I mean, how many times you watch an award show and you see some game win and you're just like, what the heck were they thinking? I've been Kyle Bossman, and right now we're heading live to the Microsoft Theater for some more. Enjoy the show. Good evening, everyone. I'm Jeff Keeley, and welcome to the Game Awards 2017, our pre-show. Uh, we are live from the Microsoft Theater here in Los Angeles, counting down the big live show that starts at the top of the hour we are streaming live around the world it doesn't actually start till nine o'clock get the entire game industry together and all the fans around the world top of the hour we will start with all the big awards big world premieres we're on every platform God out there tonight it. we're on facebook we're on youtube and 4k playstation steam GameSpot, ign xbox and we're also streaming on mixer microsoft's new live streaming service with less than one second of latency live. and interactive mm -hmm. gameplay and we're doing some cool things with a lot of these platforms. If you log on and watch the Game Awards on certain platforms, you'll get little bonuses. Like on Mixer, you'll get a mix pot of free digital content. You'll get uh, Goat Simulator, the full game of that. Warframe Prestige Pack DLC. Hey, there you go. You can get some Goat Simulator. DLC, that's a, that's a fun game. game. Driver Shoot for Forza Motorsport. Uh, also, if you uh, log on to Twitch tonight, we're doing interactive stuff. Uh, we've got an interactive game going on there where you can predict the winners throughout the show. Uh, so you can check that out, and we'll announce the winners the end of the night everyone they'll be co-streaming you'll be predicting what's going to win in each uh, category if you're watching on i mean Steam, pug does make a point Steam, <laughs> that is next giveaway. month <laughs> as you watch the show uh, pug i'll tell you this the january direct so that has been confirmed on twitter of course, uh, you watch the show there by leaked email or whatever uh, we want to make it as they'll easy tell us about it for you guys to watch the show on every platform tonight so and of january course, we are around the world we'll as well in places as far away as China, we want to welcome everyone on Friday morning watching the show live on WeChat and Tencent. Uh, it's great to have you guys with us again for the Game Awards. We have an amazing show for you guys tonight. And uh, in the pre-show, we're going to get through a couple big uh, announcements, world premieres, and some awards as well. So uh, first of all, let's take a look at our first uh, new game that we're showing off tonight. At the what? Game Awards. Check it out. They're, sh what? They're doing it now before the show starts? What? We thought the war would stop them. We hoped the gold would freeze them. What is that accent? We thought the army would crush them. Oh, it's all different. But nothing worked. We're all alone. And they just keep zombie coming. game or like.
Yeah, it is a zombie game. Another zombie game. <laughs> yeah. World War Z, the game? Oh boy. Hopefully it's better than the movie! <laughs> Alright, that's World War Z from Saber. The announcements are just getting started. You don't want to miss the <laughs> final five minutes of the pre show. I'm sure it'll be better than the movie because the movie was terrible. <laughs> cool stuff happening. Um, but we're going to get to some of the awards now. We've got so many amazing awards, and this year, you guys voted on World War Z, of you were the game, votes, uh, in all the, categories. the movie, the game, right now, the, book, the game, the book, the game, the movie, the book, the game. voted on by fans uh, around the world, and uh, we had five... Is Tom Cruise in it, though? In That's the, the question. Uh, I'm going to get Tom on, Cruise uh, to do some um, mocap and voice acting. Able Gamer Steven is here, came all the way <laughs> from Pittsburgh. Great to have him here on the West Coast for the first time. Welcome tonight, Steven. We got a popular streamer on Twitch, Shroud, and Dr. Disrespect as well. Dr. Uh, Disrespect. Yeah, all right. Of course he's here. That. Because freaking PUBG a. is up for game of the year, so of course he's here. With, uh, games with one hand. And Andrew Renee, who's here tonight. Andrew Renee from What's Good Games. Big you missed uh, Waluigi's is, uh, Creed. Backstage all the new you Ubisoft uh, the Nintendo Game crossover. On uh, Facebook. Uh, and right now, it's my honor to uh, announce the first award winner of the night for Trending Gamer. Training um, gamer is yeah, Doctor Disrespect. It, it, of course, is Doctor Disrespect. Doctor Disrespect. How are yeah. you, the Doctor? Jeff, how you doing? Good to see you, good Doctor. Good to see you as well. Uh, th this is your moment. This is your trophy. So, uh, congratulations. We got that headset uh, it's on. It's very heavy. Still. Heavier than the Oscar. Uh, what do you have to say? It's your moment. Right? Idiot, uh, hey, awards. It feels good. First off, thank oh, you. Oh, you'll see him, all right, my friend. The Game friends. Awards. Congratulations to the other nominees <laughs> they love that him were involved. Here. You all should be proud of yourselves. Uh, thank you, Nurse Disrespect, who's sitting in the crowd. Uh, you know, I really have to just, I have to say thank you to everyone. This man always wears his sunglasses. On a daily basis. The Slick Daddy Club. Whew. Baby, baby, baby. The passion. The enthusiasm. The violent speed momentum that you bring on a daily basis. I love it. And trust me, nothing is taken for granted. And we're just getting started 2018. Watch out. That hair. All right, Doctor Disrespect. Congratulations. Is that his? Is that his hair? That's his actual show. hair. Uh, we will see more of you soon. All right, uh, we've got a lot more coming up, and now this we've like got kind of look a like a brand wig. new VR game from the crazy folks at Alchemy Labs. Uh, done some amazing games in VR. Here's the announcement of their next title. It's okay. You don't have to. I mean, it's fine. Like, it, people like him. That's all you really need to know. Oh, what is this? Looks interesting. I love Joe. Did it say Joe? It said, oh, did it say Joel? I swear it said Joel. Freaking laying the mustard on the hot dog. What? Vacation simulator, oh my god, of course it is. Do you want to see the rest of Vacation Island? Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> okay, so I I played uh what is the one called? The is it job simulator or whatever? Um Oh god, I felt like I was gonna be sick. Vacation simulator, I'm here with Alex. I think the Alchemy Labs uh, guys. I think the um, job simulator, an amazing one of the early VR titles. I think um, maybe the calibration was off because I felt yeah, like I, mean, I was gonna be uh, sick the whole time. Funny. People have been loving to job. You know, we've been working on the game for so long, and uh, you know, the natural progression of after you job, then you vacation. It just made sense. Yeah. <laughs> Makes sense, and I know you guys have done a lot of great things with VR titles where you really kind of interact with the environment. Job Simulator, I love just the possibility space of, you know, putting anything in anywhere, and it was just insane. So tell and me, you gotta I mean, really get the calibration right when you're doing that stuff, because I swear VR. I was getting, yeah, we, like, sick. We've doubled down into, like, we think I'm playing that it. hands in VR are Which is weird, because, like, makes it truly magic. Resident e I played really Resident Evil in VR. Awesome, well, it uh, looks really cool. Uh, gonna be coming out across fine. all the platforms, right? Absolutely, yeah. We've uh, always been multi-platform to the core. 
Awesome. All right. Well, uh, thanks for sharing that announcement with us. Uh, congrats. It's been a big year for you guys. Getting acquired by Google, doing lots of great stuff. So we can't wait to see what's next. They were bought by Google. Alchemy. Thank you very much, guys. All right. And now we are going to head backstage. You'll meet our backstage host, Sydney Goodman. Um, she is getting ready for an exciting night. How's it going, Sydney? Thanks, Jeff. It's getting busy backstage. All the developers have been here rehearsing their big reveals. People are I'm shuffling in from to the hear red what carpet. this orchestra is going to play is though. Here tonight, Norman Reedus, Iona. Guillermo del Toro. We've also got Aisha Tyler, Zach See, Levi, literally, Felicia they're Day, all there. All so, of course, Death Stranding is going to be shown. And my like, friend Andrea Renee is backstage hosting I hope the that they show some Winners game Lounge. play. That's really all I really want to I'll be back see. throughout the night with some special sales and deals going on just for the Game Awards. Like but until then, back to you, Jeff. Awesome. Thanks very much, Sydney. We have a lot of like, great stuff for you guys. I feel like we've got enough of those confusing award, trailers. Uh, that is for best score and music. We've got the Game Awards Orchestra that will be here live tonight, so music will be a big part of the show. But let's go over the nominees for best score and music. We've got Cuphead. We've got Destiny 2. We've got Nier Automata. Persona 5. Super Mario Odyssey. And... The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. You know what? All right, well now I'm going to tell you this right now. This envelope and tell you who won best score in music. I'm going to tell you this right the now. The winner is Nier Automata. That's a good soundtrack. Us, we have a okay. Persona 5 is great, too. Enix, but my, my game of the year... Soundtrack is Xenoblade Chronicles 2. I can already tell you that. I haven't even heard all the songs in the game. I guess technically it goes into next year's Game of the Year stuff because it's, it just sh it's shipped after November. So it, maybe it could get it next year, I don't know. Get nominated for something. え、もちろんベストスコアということなんですけれども、え、そういった世界観を作ったみんなのおかげの賞だと思っております。え、本当にあらためましてありがとうございました。Great good like even if you haven't played it yet. So check out look up the songs on YouTube. They're showing a lot of this Wind howls across the wastes, and with it comes dark tidings. The king is dead. Hmm? The king? Fuck you! What are you doing here? Whoa! In my place? What are you doing in my place? Get the fuck out of here! You get the fuck out of here! What are you doing in my place? This is my tree world! Well, who are you? you what, how did you get here? This is my crazy tree. Why is it the voice? Why is it the voice? <laughs> it's the voice from. It's the guy who made Rick and Morty. The voice is the guy who made, made Rick and Morty. <laughs> oh my god, what the hell? Alright, I'm joined by William from Crows Crows Crows, and of course, the creator and voice of Rick and Morty, Justin Roiland. Great to have you guys with us. Uh, Alright, hey, people are getting sight. Easy. Oh yeah. Accounting plus, uh, Justin, you've obviously got some Nintendo games. William, you've done some amazing games. Stanley Parable, uh, incredible narrative. <laughs> but it's experience. in VR. How did this team up, uh, come about? I don't have I PlayStation lied to VR though. About working at Epic Games, he believed me. I apologized. And we... Titanfall, but yeah. Oh yeah. 
I don't have it a PSVR. Uh, counting plus, what is the plus? It's expensive. It's just more, plus. man. Double, Twice as much. Double the size, double the fun. Yeah. <laughs> Keely, you game? You game, what Keely? What the heck? I game a little that guy's right? scaring really me a bit. VR? Yeah. You guys yeah. all VR? Because you got your whole... More games coming from yeah, you guys, yeah. right? Yeah, Well, this is pretty cool. We're brewing uh, up some stuff. Rick and Morty VR was awesome this year. You guys are doing this. So this is coming out. Oh it looks my like God. PSVR coming soon, right? Yes, very soon. Uh, j most soon. Soon when? Most December 19th. Oh, there's the yep. plug. All there right. December 19th. And I heard man. there's a secret zoo level. Oh, yeah. 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 A lot of hard work. Went a start. lot of work for a very small sliver of the fans that will be able to find it. Incredibly okay. difficult to find. Animals a secret in the zoo? zoo all kinds of stuff. Clowns. I mean, we didn't. You saw it in the trailer. The clown. Okay. That's where the clown's from. Okay. That's we're where the clown's from. It, though. That's the zoo the Twitch clown. streamers, I we're, think. We're on the hunt. All right, uh, Justin William, enjoy the Game Awards. Thanks Thank for sharing you. that news December 19th. December 19th. Accounting plus. Plus. The All right, the they're the plugs. All right, thanks very much, guys. <laughs> uh, I also want to congratulate some other Game Award winners tonight in a couple other categories. The best mobile game, Monument Valley 2 from us two. The best sports racing game, Forza Motorsports 7 from Turn 10. The best VR AR game, Resident Evil 7 from Capcom. The best handheld game, Metroid Samus Returns from Nintendo. And also, hey. uh, the favorite uh, game is voted on by fans in China. I would say that's a, that's a good JX pick. I would say Resident Evil is probably the best VR game. Them as well. For sure. All right, right now, as we count down to the show, we've got another world premiere. A little Metroid. This is really special, and it comes to us all the way from Japan. All the way from Japan? Hmm? What? My God! Yes, it's the new That's from. All you, get, a little tease of the next project. <laughs> you don't know where the Thank hell it you is. Much those guys for that little tease of uh, what they're working on next. Uh, we have an amazing show for you tonight. We have some big surprises what? that no one has been hinting at uh, that haven't leaked. So we've got an amazing show. We've got, of course, the awards, game of the year. Five amazing games up for that. We've got a ton of new game announcements, first looks that we'll show you as well. And, of course, we've got the Game Awards sale across all the platforms, Xbox, PlayStation, Nintendo, Steam. We've also worked with eBay. On it's not really Bloodborne 2, uh, apparently, unless they're also making we'll that. All about it. And the Game Awards Orchestra, Edward Tribeck, the composer of Star Wars, The Old Republic, uh, he, Knights of the Fallen Empire, and he's worked on the music of Deadpool, Guardians of the Galaxy, The Walking Dead, and more. He's put together an amazing tribute to the music of games. So, you guys ready to do this? Oh, are they going to do like a? They're going to do a bunch All of right, different songs Enjoy from different genres. Here we go. I'll admit, like I'm here for that live orchestra too. It's usually pretty good. It was a new IP.
Oh my god! It's one of those things! I'm dead. I can't believe they had one in Skyrim. Pretty damn good. Wow. Here's the creator of the game awards, Jeff Keeley. These people are leaving. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Welcome to the game awards. You guys like that? Thank you, Dad. We got a lot more from the Game Awards Orchestra tonight. Uh, this is the show that we've always dreamed of doing, the Game Awards. Thank you all so much for joining us. We are here to celebrate the greatest form of entertainment in the world. That's video games, and we're going to do it in a grand style tonight. So thank you all for joining us across the industry, and thank you all for watching, streaming around the world on nearly every device and platform imaginable. We are around the globe in countries like China, Russia, Japan, Brazil, Korea, Europe, being translated around the world. Gaming is global, and we have some huge global announcements for you. We've got some big awards to celebrate the absolute best games around the world. Mm. I want to thank all the developers from flying in from around the world tonight. Um, it's my privilege to bring together the industry and all the fans to celebrate our love of games. So let's get right <clears> in <throat> to the awards, should we? The first big award of the night. Uh, let's get into it. When a game is recognized for its narrative, it's not we'll just because of a brilliant script or a cool cutscene, but also for the journey it takes us on as back players. There. After all, video games don't tell us stories, they share stories with us. Here are the nominees for the first award of the night, Best Narrative. Ooh, Best Narrative. Best Narrative. I didn't even look at the list of this stuff to see what was on there. I would probably. I think they should give it to Nier. Remains of Edith Finch. I've not played this. Fanfic. This is the Look at that outfit, Game though. Win for Giant Sparrow. What remains of Edith Finch is also a Games for Impact nominee tonight. Has anybody played this game?
I'm assuming it's up on Steam. I'll have to check it out. Those outfits are pretty awesome, though. Thank you. Check that out. That guy's beard is fantastic. It, it feels amazing after all of our years to share our stories, to, to get this much recognition and appreciation for trying to make this strange, beautiful experience uh, for everyone. Uh, I just have some people I want to thank. I mean, it was the whole team, uh, but... You know, thank you to Megan Ellison and everyone from Annapurna that helped publish the game. It was amazing. Without their support, we never would have been able to do it. Uh, but then also from Sony, uh, Shannon Sudstill, uh, Chaco Sunny, Yumi Yang, uh, Eric Smolikowski, Is it? Fong, Let's uh, check here. Peter and Lara Scatura, who have been uh, uh, supportive of Giant Sparrow side. since the beginning. Uh, and just all the fans, thank you so much. <laughs> It is on Steam. What remains of the US Bank? They have 33% on it. It is. <clears throat> if anybody's interested, it's only 1339 right now on Steam. Awesome. Congratulations to what remains of Edith Finch. We've got a lot of great stuff around the world. Uh, you know, the streamers and the communities on Twitch so there tonight, you go. Uh, are able to predict what they think is going to win each category. So if you're on Twitch, there's a Twitch extension. You if can predict if there's any games that, live, you, uh, you so there's any games that none of us have really heard of. So I can point action them out to you guys. Category. Right now, fans on Twitch are predicting that Cuphead is going to win that category. We'll find out in just a few minutes. Uh, a lot of games come in, came out board. then. Remember, uh, Horizon came out really close to sure Breath of the Wild as well. And Persona just came moment. out that next but month, right now, too, didn't it? Let's move on to world premieres. Tonight, I am honored that some of the top game developers in the world have chosen the Game Awards as the place to reveal the first news on their next projects. At best, these world premieres can inspire us about where games are going in the future. And right now, this next game uh, absolutely is going to take your breath away. When I saw this trailer, I said, we have to make this the first one we show tonight. Uh, please enjoy this world premiere. <clears throat> Hamels. Yo, Pug, remember you got giraffes in one, one year to year three? Ubisoft, now you get camels. From the creators of Firewatch, Campo Santo.
the valley of in the valley of gods please welcome that looks the pretty cool of nerd hq and your future shazam zachary levi Action is present in many of the games that we're going to be talking about tonight, but for the best action game nominees, it is in their essence. They are made for the thrilling and, and the dangering and the joy of overcoming the insurmountable challenges, like getting out of bed for some of us in the morning. Uh, here are the nominees for best action game. Best action game. Cuphead. Yeah, it's Shazam. What are they talking about? There will be no coming back. It's worth it. This is also a very good game. It's true. Morning. This is a station-wide emergency. Monsters did this. Not monsters. Men. Hallelujah! No, that can't be what they're talking about. That is somebody else, isn't it? He's and Shazam? The game award goes to, oh man, I have to pay a microtransaction to unlock. That's How so is he Shazam? He's not big enough to be Shazam. Shazam is like on, jacked. This, guys. Here we go. You know it's true. It's, it's really stupid. Uh, the uh, winner, Wolfenstein 2, the new Colossus. Tonight, Wolfenstein yeah, isn't Shaz Colossus like, is also nominated for Best Shazam Game is like jacked when he becomes like his adult form. How is this guy gonna be Shazam? I was expecting like not only that, but The Rock is going to be. The so Rock is going to be color. Black Adam. Um, a bit surprising, so, I say. Um, he looks so small compared to him. There are so many to thank. Uh, first, I want to thank the production team at Bethesda for their amazing uh, support. Uh, Eid Software, Arcane Studios, who, who we do a lot of work with, and you know, they are amazing friends and, and great co-workers. And of course, our heroes in the QA department, which I really want to highlight. Um, and, you know, and, and He's going to have to hit the gym, man. Our amazing team back home in Sweden. Uh, he, like, so I expect Shazam to be so I, gigantic. They have done such amazing work with this game. <laughs> Thank you. Unless they're gonna make like Shazam not a kid and right, like he is, to, uh, he turns into he turns into Shazam. Uh, like he, now I'm joined by like, Rebecca Ford from Digital Extremes. Maybe? Uh, you're back again this year. But Shazam needs to be a kid. We sure did. Talking about Warframe this year, you guys are nominated for best ongoing game. And you know, for us, it's a crazy year to be nominated. This has been the biggest year for Warframe ever. We have uh, crazy Planes of Eidolon update. It's been free. You're fishing. You're hunting. Comparatively, giant he is very of... much so though tonight, compared if, to him. Uh, people play Warframe. They're watching the Game Awards on Twitch. I know you can get a drop by watching. The I would show say, Twitch, right? yes, Fashion Frame is very important to our players. So if you're new to Warframe and you want to fit in, you can watch for you know hopefully more than 30 minutes. Unless that was like that must have just yeah, been you confirmed don't want to because the show. We got for good stuff. For exactly. Sure. Yes, we got a great show. But one thing you're it does doing not look really cool. Cool. I mean, to be fair, um, like Warframe, but you also they totally cheated with Batman. Like, yeah, I, I'm ben blown away that we got to do this because our community is so talented. But in order to like show the, the way his suit tonight, is made, his suit is made to make him look like trailers disgustingly with ripped, but he's not. Show. So you're gonna see player-made so trailers. Today. I guess it doesn't matter. I guess right, I could well, just do that. First one's coming up right now. Thank you very much, Rebecca. Uh, we've got an amazing show. Like Batman, it looks too ripped in his suit, but he's not at all. 
We've got lots more exclusive premieres on the way, and later in the show, we've got a look at the new PUBG map. Everyone is dying to play. The desert will be revealed. The Game Awards will be right back. But first, the first Warframe community trailer. Check it out. I don't know, I just think it's gonna be weird because, like, Black Adam is going to be super ripped compared to everybody else. But that's just because you picked a rock, so, I don't know. There's a reason you're here. It's in your blood. A primal need to pitch yourself. Or for Did he just go by the microtransaction room? Requires a very finest of wares. Get that loot crate. Let's get to it. Loot box. This man needs to redecorate his house, I think. It's a little dangerous. Play the legendary open world adventure anywhere. The Elder Scrolls V Skyrim is now on Nintendo Switch. Game ready then for mature. The data is clear, it's right now. Avon is worried that someone's trying to start a war. I'm not worried about it. I'm certain of it. It has to be the Russians, or the North Koreans, or the Chinese, or the Iranians. We would need a ballistic missile launcher to have half a chance. This cannot be traced back to me. For all I know, you're bugged all to high hell and you don't even know the bugs exist! The apocalypse, the doomsday scenario, mushroom cloud, fallout. Oh, it's supposed to be at a potluck. Fallout. Ha ha ha. Say hello, Clifford. You're embarrassing me, Avon. <laughs> yes, it is ads. They are showing ads right now. They seem like Twitch ads, don't they? All right, that was the new trailer for GTA Online's The Doomsday Heist, uh, four years on GTA Online. I guess Online. it was a new Still trailer. Playing. I didn't know Probably it was a new content. trailer. has more players than ever, and they are nominated tonight for best ongoing game. We'll be announcing that winner a little bit later on. I guess that show. was a so world premiere, too. Now, tonight, the Game Awards sale is live across all the major <sighs> platforms, like on PlayStation Store. Over 50 titles are discounted up to 50%, including Destiny 2 and two games from Naughty Dog, Uncharted 4, and Uncharted The Lost Legacy. Uh, you can also check out the sale on Xbox Live, on Steam, where Rocket League is 40% off, and the Nintendo eShop. So lots of great offers on the nominees, what? thanks to all the game publishers and platforms huh? for giving those to you. There's an e eBay e eShop sale? For some very exclusive offers on what? gaming hardware and accessories. What are they talking about? The night, uh, so stay tuned for that. But right now, we have an exclusive glimpse at a film that Rocket Hideo League Kajimi is, is raving about as one of his favorites of the year. The Shape of Water, directed by his good friend, Guillermo, Guillermo del Toro. Del Toro. Check this out. I really want to see this movie. The thing we keep in there we haven't gotten it yet. Help! It was you that found my fingers. There was mustard on them. The Soviets want it. We know that much. We need to take it apart. Learn how it works. What happened? It's an animal. Just keeping it tame. I can either save him or let him die. Don't do this, Alasa. Don't do this. The asset. Do you have it? Sir, I'm getting it back. Unfuck this mess. You deliver, right? Right! Where is it? Sit down! Finish the job, son. Honey, he's coming for you.
Now, please welcome Guillermo del Toro and Hideo Kojima. See, it's like they're both there and they're both working on this game, so you would think... The thing that sucks, I think still the most, is that, like, I really would have liked to see what Silent Hills would have been like, but... I never know. And I don't think that we'll ever get another Silent Hill game at this point now. Fantastic! You keep coming. Yes. Me, amigo de Toro. Gracias! <laughs> Well, thank you, thank you, uh, thank you for inviting me, and, uh, you know, I'm always grateful for the art form and the narrative that you guys deliver. Uh, you guys make me dream of weird shit, <laughs> so that's a big thing. Now, it's time to present the award for Best Art Direction. Uh, this game displays the boundless creativity uh, of developers to create new worlds, Drawing from science fiction, anime, fine painting, fantasy, Zod is and mean. Even <laughs> you called him animation. Emperor Zod? <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Your nominees. Yeah. Best art direction. Well, that's a good one to start off with, right? You think? Yeah. Cuphead's a good, good idea for this category. Let me tell you what's out there. If you hunt these wilds, you Let's see, is there anything that I think would, would beat it, though? Mm, no, because I mean, all the Persona games have had this look. The UI in Persona is pretty cool. I still, I would probably give it to Cuphead. I would probably still give it a look. Ah, yeah, I give it a look. I think it has the most unique one of wow. like, them all. Holy sure. crap. And the winner is... Huh. Him? No. <laughs> Cuphead! Yeah. That's what I thought. Cuphead was nominated for a total of five Game Awards this year. I need to hear some Cuphead music. heart and souls into this game and to be recognized with the greats like this is just out of this world yeah to be up against these beasts and have a chance it kind of like my heart is just fluttering like wild <laughs> it's, um, we definitely have to thank everyone on our team we couldn't have done that without them it's everyone is extremely talented you know each and every one who you are and extra thanks to the lovely team idea at Xbox. I can't wait to have some drinks with you. It's been the easiest ride. It's been so perfect. We want to thank Valve, this team at Assembly, and definitely all our fans. Thank you very much. to Cuphead. What an amazing year for independent games, and uh, we got lots more from the independent scene coming up. Thank you to Guillermo and Hideo for joining us uh, tonight, and now uh, let's head back to the stage for uh, something that is very special. Now my moment has finally come. Brace yourself, Ganon, for the sting of my revenge! This will be our final opportunity. Oh, it's the DLC. We will not fail. I think it's the DLC. Let's go, little guy. Now. Maybe. A hundred years in the making. 
Hold on, princess. Our moment has arrived. Yes! Here we go! Yes! <laughs> Let's go! <gasps> what is that? What the hell is that? Like a tuning fork or something? Can you travel back in time with it? To slay the beast once and for all. It will be my great pleasure. One day, princess, I must leave him to face my fate with Ruta. No monster stands a chance. Hey, DB. Oh my god. Look at him. You get to see him fight? What are these what what are what are these dungeons? The Revali? What? What are those costumes? What is that? What is this horse? It was like a guardian horse? She has a dog? A motorcycle? Oh my god, what the f- I know what we're playing tonight. <laughs> And I'm happy to see people around the world continue to discover the game and its many secrets and adventures. Oh my god. Hello.新しい追加コンテンス。英傑たちのバラードで皆さんは100年前リンクが深い眠りにつく前に英傑と呼ばれた4人とゼルダ姫について深く知ることができます。in this new DLC for the game called The Champion's Ballad, players will have an opportunity to learn more about the four characters no, who are also in uh, this. as well as Princess Zelda, before Link's slumber 100 years ago. Link is a man who 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 is a man Thing. We said, you know, and show it off, and that it'd probably be one of those things where they're like, champion, Link here it is. From its crisis. However, while the other champions who fought alongside him all had their own powerful divine beast to support them, Link did not. 
マスターバイクゼロ式はリンクの真珠ともいえる頼もしいパートナーです The Master Cycle Zero. Getting even more technology up in here. What the hell, man? I can't even. You can get it after you overcome all of the challenges in this new DLC, and it will help you with your adventure in Hyrule in unique new ways. The champion balance will be available tonight. We hope your adventure with the game will continue through this new DLC. <laughs> Damn. And thank you again for enjoying Breath of the Wild. Thank you. Man, stay tuned for the best debut in the game. I was gonna say, is it up? Is it up? Like, is it up to start downloading it? Next generation of game developers. Head to indiegamesweeps.com tonight and enter to win a copy of one of the five nominated debut indie games. What's up? I'm Sydney Goodman. All right, if you're getting hungry watching the Game Awards, McDonald's and Uber Eats have teamed up with the show <clears> for a special <throat> offer. Download Uber Eats and use the code too. MCDTGA for $5 off your first Uber Eats order. That offer is only available through tonight, December 7th at 11.59 p.m. Pacific time in the U.S. So treat yourself while you're enjoying all things video games. Every hour around the globe, neglected gamers feel lonely, shunned by their multiplayer counterparts. But here at Bethesda, we are working toward a solution. We make all sorts of games, but single player experiences are a big part of our DNA. Hi, I'm Linda Carter. You may remember me from such performances as the lounge singer in Fallout 4. Or this other project where I played a woman of wonder, a, a really wonderful woman, you know. Anyway, let's forget about that. Today I'm here to talk to you about something serious. The need to save single player gamers. Everyday gamers in search of a single player experience are left behind. This is actually... Forgotten, neglected. Many were rescued and found their way into amazing adventures, but others? They weren't as fortunate. <laughs> For the price of just a few Nuka Cola quantums, you can God share the fun Desda. of an epic single player <laughs> journey today. <laughs> Together, we can end the pain <laughs> God. for single player gamers in need. Right? We work together. Hi everyone, I'm Pete Hines from Bethesda Softworks. For a limited time, we're offering our current lineup of single player games at incredible discounts to make it easier for gamers to enjoy these wonderful, award winning single player campaigns. Yeah, I don't we see anything on here yet. To support future game development. So we decided, as part of this sale, to make a donation of $100,000 to the ESA Foundation to provide scholarships to the next generation of developers. We can't wait to mm -hmm. see what they create. Still got chills. Hey, Bree. 
Oh my god, Brie, I freaked out so much. I freaked out so bad. That last shot of Link on the uh, Master All Cycle. Alright, the sales going on tonight already Ooh. give you special discounts on the best games. But this year, we're going next level by partnering with eBay. During tonight's show, we're getting exclusive deals on the best gaming hardware. From graphics cards to new Xbox consoles. Just head over to ebay.com slash gaming and it's check so out over taller, 2 like. million active listings, including these special offers throughout the night. I'll be back soon to reveal our first exclusive offer just for the Game Awards. And now, she's the creator of the popular YouTube channel Geek and Sundry and Master one of the Cycle stars of Zero. MST3K. Please welcome Felicia Day. Hey. I'm here to present the Industry Icon Award. Tonight, we are celebrating a trailblazer from the formative years of the Atari era. She was one of the first female designers ever. I love how the in the concept stuff, they talked about on Link on her motorcycle, and there and it when is. when I started learning about her life, I instantly admired the way she forged her own path. This is the story of Carol Shaw. Carol's story is important today because she was there with... Literally, it's in the concept stuff when they were going over ideas. She was there at the moment when the big bang of what the modern game the Atari. Yeah. She was Don't very equal in many ways better. Carol Shaw is one of the first female video game designers and programmers. I was born in 1955, right here in Palo Alto. My parents encouraged me to do math and science. The girls weren't expected to be good at math. She went directly from college to work for Atari. I was hired to write games for the Atari 2600. And so this is Polo, my first game. I didn't have any previous experience. Yeah, I played some games, and they just put you to work designing a game. Holy At crap, B-O-T-W DLC is out tonight. Coding, the graphics, <laughs> the sound. Gameplay. Everybody on Twitter is freaking the One hell out about it right Star, now. The president of Atari said, oh, finally we've got a, a woman uh, game designer. You know, she can do interior decorating and cosmetic color matching games. <laughs> River Raid, designed by Carol Shaw for Activision. Hey, River Raid. In some ways, its simplicity was its gift and the reason why people loved it so much. And the beauty of Carol's code, the background was actually almost non-repeating. When women are in technology, often their roles are understated, but women have always been there at the top level. Here's tangible proof that there was a woman who was involved in this industry and played a fairly significant role, especially with the success of River Raid. That's really important to remember. So this is a platinum cartridge in recognition of sales in excess of one million units. But yeah, a lot of people have told me that they like my game. Yeah, so it wasn't God, I just love the idea that we're going to be able to go like arcade game, you know, fast like without having to worry about our horse. That's something I'm proud of. Oh my God. Where is Motorcycle Girl? Hey. Guys, you better stand up for that lady. She's making games on the Atari. <laughs> I just love the the gif of Ali Nuba like just swinging around the sword. Like <laughs> Well, 
Thank you very much. This is a great honor, and it's always nice to have one's work recognized. <laughs> and I'd like to thank Lisa Ann and James for doing that uh, outstanding video of my life. And, and uh, <laughs> I just wish uh, my father had lived to see this. And, Aww. My mom was really thrilled to hear about this also, and hmm. so uh, I'd also like to thank my husband, uh, Ralph, he's in the audience, so, uh -huh. hey. and I'd also like to thank the uh, other game designers at Atari and Activision for their uh, valuable feedback and contributing to the success of the games and and uh, the video games have really uh, progressed since when I was working on them 35 years ago you know the first thing I noticed is the graphics have gotten a lot better <laughs> a lot more detailed and yeah but the classic games are still fun to play you know just look at the Re-releases, uh, yeah. <clears throat> they it re is. The yeah, classic she's very game sweet. Consoles, you can still buy them, and people still have fun playing the classic games. First, uh, I played and, uh, uh, on my dad's uh, Atari. A game yourself or, uh, it was the first uh, console uh, I ever played. The uh, app stores for the iPhones or the Androids and be an independent game developer or you can join a gigantic crew and it's like producing a movie you can produce a, an elaborate game like some of the ones we've been seeing tonight and you know there are a lot of opportunities today in game development so uh, and there's augmented reality and virtual reality I and mean, it's amazing what's happened in the last 35 years in the game business since when i was doing it so uh so thanks a lot for this honor, and well, thank you. <laughs> well done. Good speech. She's motivating young game designers and developers to go out and do what they Carol. want to do. Uh, now please welcome the Tekken franchise director and a producer from Bandai Namco, Harada-san. And a Kubo son. Oh, are they gonna reveal a Tekken character? Like a crazy Tekken character? Or are they gonna. Are they. Oh, maybe they're gonna like present best fighting game, maybe? God, he always dresses up. <laughs> he always dresses Hi. up. Hi, <laughs> From Tekken to Dragon Ball Fighters. Every fighting game at Bandai Namco is created by teams of dedicated people. Working with a combined focus towards a single vision. <laughs> Smash Brothers. <laughs> Tonight, By the way, we worked on that. I'm here to introduce to the millions of game awards viewers, Motohiro Okubo. A colleague I greatly respect that also played a big role in the production of Tekken 7. I, for one, I'm quite excited to hear what he has in store for us today. Working together with Harada-san, I felt a great responsibility to continue Tekken's legacy of delivering the most dynamic and hard-hitting action within the fighting game category. This was no easy task, but I truly believe we succeeded in fulfilling that goal. <sighs> Utilizing the lessons I learned on Tekken 7, I'm ready Yo, to fully li take link charge for Garfield of a new project. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Tonight, I'm here to announce the next chapter in Bandai Namco's regionally fighting game <clears throat> saga. What? Before we leave the stage, I have one question for our fans out there. Do your he souls still burn? Yes! Here we go! Yes! All right! Yes! Here it is! It was rumored. 
Yes. There is light. History hides away more than No. <laughs> yep. The wait is over. Let's there it is. It's back, baby. Oh, please let it be coming to the Switch, and please let there be, like, a Fire Emblem character, or, like, or, like, Link or something in it. Oh, God, that would be so great. Oh, man. I would, like, honestly, if they just put Link in it again, I would take that. Yeah, it is Soul Calibur 6. That, oh, uh, please. Please come to everything. To the stage of history. Oh god, I love that. I love the welcome back to the stage of history. Oh no! Oh man. It's not coming to switch. Alright, uh, we want to congratulate some more Game Award winners tonight. Let's go so much for categories. best crossover best DLC. Game. Congratulations to the team at Alex uh. from Persona 5. The best strategy yeah. game is voted on by the jury and fans. Mario and Rabbids Kingdom Battle from Ubisoft. They just they always have the best characters. They're like the most anticipated game, The Last of Us Part Two from Naughty Dog. Because then you look at like the, the other best ones. Family game tonight, could have been in the Soul Calibur games, Odyssey, and it's just like. Oh. And finally, our best esports team won last year, win again this year, Cloud Nine. Congratulations to Jack and Cloud9. All right, now coming to the stage, she's a comedian from Archer and the reigning dorm champion oh, I mean, of Leisure Suit Larry. Please welcome Aisha Tyler. Two is just so good. Like, And Link plays so much differently than everybody else compared to all the other DLC characters and all the other versions. Like. What's up? I think you want me to say what? Set it. Let's move on. What's up? Uh, we all remember our first time. That very special first video game. But no one will remember their first time more fondly than these guys, because this is the award for best debut indie game for new studios who released their first game ever this year. Family game Congratulations, Mario, guys. You are men now, or you are women now, or you are whatever gender you self-identify as now. Live your life. Let's take a look at the nominees. Best debut indie game, presented by Chic Hydro. Golf Story is really good too, by the way. And Hollow Knight is, well, just ask Pika. It's very good. I've not played Mr. Shifty. I know a lot of people play this. by fan voting the game award goes to Cuphead uh, I figured I figured it would be Cuphead I mean that Cuphead from seems Studio to be the NBA most popular Times, also the indie game, game award winner for best indie game and earlier tonight they won best art direction It's okay, like I said, it doesn't matter. All that matters this is, is that if you else. enjoy the game, also, and it got nominated, can you fit up on a to get some recognition, <laughs> maybe to get some more sales. Again, we have to thank it's kind of the point is to bring, team. you know, to give them recognition and, and ID at Xbox introduce for them allowing to us to build the dream game we've always wanted to. It would never be what it is today without their support. Um, thanks to all our fans. Thanks for this award. This is amazing. And... 
Oh, no. <laughs> oh, I was just going to say simply, if you haven't played any of the other games, they're also so wonderful. Pull out the wallets, hit them up. <laughs> there you go, see? That's the point. You get them recognized. Introduce them to people. The five nominees for the best debut indie game. To support the next generation of developers, head to IndieGameSweeps.com right got now the, and enter to win a free wanted. copy of one of the five it's nominated the debut Hollow Knight. indie games. Up next, we present the first ever award for best ongoing game, plus more exclusive game reveals. Um, and later, Norman Reedus drops in and an electric performance by Phoenix. Is on there. Streaming live around the planet, and then probably this is the Game Awards. That one game that's advertised all the time. The legacy or whatever. We have ten thousand troops ready to fight. I have a question, is this song here? This music here from actually from the last Jedi? I think it is. I figured it would be. This I think this music is I think this music is from uh, the movie. From the new movie. If we could learn how powerful the First Order really is. Then the resistance might have a chance. Play it on PS4. PlayStation. Or wherever you want to play it. Drop mid and ball way over toward Atrium. Taps it goes quick. Cold zero is quicker. Gets a second as well as the ball will go down and follows it up. They're all lining up. Cold zero with the ace. Oh, rushing the spawn doors, but if you give the team oh. an opportunity, set up. Oh, that is it. He's scoring. That looked like an expensive computer. Alexa, tell Ghost to call the backup. All set. We're here, buddy. Did your wife call us again? Hey, guys. I'm losing. Alexa, ask Ghost what mission I should play next. We've got a nightfall strike waiting for us. Awesome. Oh, you called in sick? Uh, yeah. Okay. Is this a is this an ad for this or is this like a new trailer for this? Is it Fortnite?
Oh no. Yeah, it is. So. Well, yeah, but I don't think that it was. I don't think right, the Soul Calibur the leak Awards. was correct. We have had some great announcements so far. You guys. It like was leaked, but you? it. Um, I'm pretty sure it said it was coming to Switch, and it didn't look like it was coming to Switch. Donald Mustard, Donald, uh, we just saw a brand new announcement from Fortnite. Uh, it's been an incredible year for you guys with that game. Um, what's it been like since you launched Early Access on it? Oh man, it's been amazing. Uh, just this last weekend, we had 1.3 million concurrent <laughs> players. That's a, that's a lot of people playing at the same time, and we just passed 30 million total players so far. Um, so we're just blown away by the support and so great yeah but i think it would make more sense at this Tell point us about the new mode like that's happening right now i guess right at yeah this so that point, trailer we just you saw should is put that logo uh, in the there like if you're going to be making it 50, for it like 50 mode that's coming really really soon yeah. um, and it just brings because it kind of sends a message of, right away you know of, team cooperation and dynamic building and to be fair namco bandai fact, like is like right one of the companies that they're now they have like a really good relationship all right and it's free still it is. So uh, Fortnite Battle Royale is free. You can download it and play it right now on Xbox One. There's rumors that like 4, they're actually PC helping them make yeah. the new. And Bash one thing Royale I know you guys did that so got a lot of attention was uh, crossplay. You guys were letting people play, and then it it, it stopped. Is that going to come back? Do you think? Or I don't mean to put you on the spot, but look, uh, Fortnite Fortnite is even better when you're playing with your real friends, and uh, and. Due to platform restrictions, uh, there are some players that aren't able to play with their friends and they're left out. And, uh, you know, gamers want crossplay. Yeah, we do. For sure. And at so. Epic, we are committed to doing whatever it takes to make that happen. Players deserve it. Yes, yeah, yeah, more games. More games should All be right. like. Thank you very much, broccoli. Donald. Uh, great to see you. Uh, and now we're going to head back That's to the true. stage. Welcome a friend of mine. He is the creator of Mass Effect, the general manager of Bioware, and he's working really hard on his brand There's new game, reunited with his brand that... new game, Anthem. Please welcome Casey Hudson. <coughs> There's one company that, like, for some reason does not want people to do that. All right, I'm here to present a new award for best ongoing game. And this, re this award recognizes a trend towards games that continue to entertain long after their release and continue to grow and evolve with their players. Thank you. The nominees are Destiny 2, <laughs> Grand Theft Auto Online, Overwatch. I feel like Player Unknown's Battlegrounds. I feel like Overwatch will probably win. Rainbow Six right. Siege. That game actually sold a lot. And the game award goes to Overwatch. Yeah, pretty good. Overwatch one. Yeah, that is weird. Award the Destiny Two is already on there. Including game of the year. List. Tonight, they also win Best Esports Game. That long ago. Like, Thank you guys. Uh, on behalf of the entire Overwatch team and everyone all across all of Blizzard, uh, every department that works so tirelessly every single day. No, I thought they said this was a new category. The Overwatch though. universe, a place in which we all want to live. Thank you guys so much for recognizing all of the work of the past couple of years. Uh, it is such an honor to be uh, recognized in the same breath as these incredible games that we all spend a lot of time playing in the office, probably a little bit too much, uh, uh, you know, and these made by these amazing teams. So uh, we're super grateful for that. Uh, but most importantly, we want to say thank you to the community of Overwatch players. Uh, you all embraced this game in a way that I think we were all incredibly happy about and very surprised. Uh, and then you told us what you loved, and you also told us some things that maybe you didn't like as much. Uh, but it's that care and attention that allowed us to match your passion with ours. Uh, like we said last year, we're not done yet. We have uh, so much that we're working on, and we can't wait to share with you guys what's coming next. I mean, more, uh, but we you know, thank I really you do think that they should just make a movie. To see the world for what because it can be. I would much Thank rather watch an Overwatch movie than, like, 
the all the um, World of Warcraft movies that they want to make. Hey there, Game Awards. Conan O'Brien, World's Greatest Gamer here. I'm excited. I'm filling out my Game of the Year ballot. Checking out the contenders. Here's the first one. Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Gotta be honest with you, this game features an elf. You gotta be an elf. I hate elves. Can't stand them. <laughs> Super Mario Odyssey. Get this, in this game, Mario throws a sentient hat on things, and then you become that thing. <laughs> Player unknown battleground. Hundreds of players dropped onto an island fighting with each other. It's basically the story of Ireland. Now, no, it would be an animated movie, movie obviously. Right here, Persona 5. All right, check it out. This is the real description written on the back. No oh, joke. God. Spend Don't. the days as a normal student. Go to school, <laughs> hang out with friends, hold a part-time job. Don't. Wow, Don't. an incredible fantasy. Don't the read the back no. of the Persona Finally, box. Horizon Zero Dawn. Okay? Robot, dinosaurs. Battle a woman, and what do they give the woman to defend herself against giant robot dinosaurs? A bow and arrow. Aren't women having enough trouble right now? Aren't Damn the it. odds stacked enough against them? This is BS. <laughs> not having it. So I'll be honest, none of these games do it for me. Once again, I'm going back to the old classic Yahtzee. Yahtzee. That's right, Yahtzee. Ultimate game. Oh, I know you're all there, like, hmm, I can't play it on my screen. <laughs> you don't need a screen. Right there. Yeah. Stop. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Thanks, Conan. Over on the Twitch stream, people have been predicting. God, I can't believe you awards. read the back right of the now, Persona box. Best esports player presented by Owen by HP. Oh. Looks like they think Faker is going to win with uh, almost about half of the votes are predicting that. Um, That's that award too much. Is coming up in just like, a honestly, that, so still time that part kills me. On Twitch. All right, we've got a lot of exciting Don't games. Look forward back to in the new year. Box. Right now, here's a new look, an announcement of a new game from THQ Nordic that's coming <sighs> just in time for the holidays. Oh, it's coming out this year. Is this the um, Nordic? Uh, this is the. What is this? Actually, the truth about survival. Okay, actually, I have no idea what this is. I mean, we Try could play online us. Yahtzee, I'm sure that exists. Fight back the madness. Snowstorm the game. Pull back the corruption. What? Ew, what the hell is that? Excuse me? But we can't. It's too late. What? It's all gone. What the frick? Destroyed. The only thing left to give. What are those things? Your life. <gasps> Fade to silence? It looks cool. I... Uh, sure, why not? Coming very soon fine. next week, yeah. in fact, and hear from Black Forest. Next Kansas week? Honoron. What the frick? Uh, so tell us about that. We just saw a trailer. That's all in-game footage that we saw. Okay. It's all in-game. All the effects, all the animations, all the Jeez. Visuals. All right, so it looks like some kind of survival game against the elements. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about it? Um, our hero is trying to survive against the weather. It's pretty deadly. And against most strategies, uh, against monsters that you've seen. Wow. All right. Um, and we're coming to early access next week. It looks like next week today on Steam. Okay. We're live. So that's pretty quick. So you've been you've been hiding this one for a while. And coming to consoles eventually too, or? Yes, at the final release next year. <laughs> Conan read what consoles. was on the back of the right, person. We'll get our hands on. Sort of hard box, Great and I lost Black it. Forest here at the Game Awards, and we'll be right back after this.
McDonald's congratulates all the nominees and winners at the Game Awards. Tonight only, download the Uber Eats app to order McDelivery. Use the code MCDTGA. Don't, for $5 don't order off McDonald's. If you're going to get McDonald's, go to the frickin'. <laughs> go to McDonald's and get your food. Don't order it to your house. Please. For the love of God. Don't order McDonald's. Up next, here. Reggie is in the house. And we'll crown oh the best my gosh. Player. Yes. Musical yes. By the Game Awards Orchestra. More glimpses at the future of gaming and the first gameplay of the PUBG Desert Map. Don't go anywhere. The Game Awards will be right Oh back. my god. I've been waiting for this, man. Take the shot. Take the shot. Could have killed a kid. Make incredible saves and score amazing goals in Rocket League. An award-winning <laughs> hybrid of arcade soccer I... and driving. Play for fun. Live to play. Rated E for everyone. Whether it's the most powerful gaming PCs in the world or the Xbox One X and PS4 Pro, AMD is at the heart of gaming. Go to thegameawards.com now for a chance to win high-end gaming hardware. All powered by AMD. <laughs> Oh, he's going to be playing some, uh, vacation simulator. <laughs> it's all about that vacation simulator now. This doesn't look like vacation simulator. Why is he not playing vacation simulator? We need to play vacation simulator. Now starting at 299. Please stay She's playing vacation simulator. <laughs> oh no, wait, never mind. They're all like, why should I, why would I go on vacation when I could simulate my vacation right here in my own house? Let's do it. Someone just fired a laser in here. Yes! The guys who made Job Simulator made Vacation Simulator. It, it was revealed tonight. <clears throat> there was also some... What was that game called? The one that was the guy that, that Justin was helping with that, that made um, Rick and Morty. That game looked crazy. <laughs> Actually, look, I, I kind of want to play that one, honestly. <laughs> For a limited time, get Lone Echo free when you buy a Rift at Oculus.com slash Lone Echo. That was a pretty long ad. Tonight's about the best games, and eBay.com slash gaming is your destination for the greatest gaming systems, including our first exclusive deal, the Xbox One S from Microsoft. With a three-month game pass on over 100 games for only $189.99. There's only a limited like a number, so grab yours now. Xbox. And now, here's a special announcement from Nintendo. What? Hmm? What? <clears throat> World premiere. What? 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 <gasps> Bayonetta! Oh my god! It's Bayonetta! Oh my god! It's Bayonetta on the Switch! It's Bayonetta 1 and 2 on the Switch. 
Oh, Bayonet too. Out to find some answers about your past, are we? Well, Bayonet, no, Bayonet one and two. Oh my God. Oh, there it is. Yes. All right, there you have it. Uh, Bayonetta 1 and 2 are coming to Nintendo Switch in February. Joining me now to tell us a little bit more about it is Nintendo of America's president and COO, Reggie fils -Aimé. Reggie, great to have you here at the Game Awards. Jeff, happy to be here. Happy to keep my attendance streak going. The Game Awards continue to get bigger and bigger. Nintendo's proud to be part of it. Thank you. You guys had an amazing year. Obviously, two nominations for Game of the Year. I think a lot of people have been wondering about what's happening in 2018. Obviously, there's a, a little tease. Why did you want to bring those games to the Switch? So first, Bayonetta 2, uh, the original Bayonetta, a passionate following by the fans, critically acclaimed games. These are games that we wanted to bring onto the Nintendo Switch. The ability to play anywhere with anyone, the portability aspect is phenomenal. And now with Bayonetta 2, yeah, you're able to play my in body, the same my space body wasn't co ready. with that game. So it's a great way to bring it to life. All right, and you're wearing just the innocuous Switch pin. Not, not, no favorite franchises tonight, I guess. Um, all right, I, I, have to, I have to love all of my children that are being, uh, being looked at today. <laughs> all of my children. Yes, all right. Well, thank you so much, Reggie. A great announcement. We're excited to hear more about uh, what Nintendo has in uh, 2018. So you, thank you. You know, Jeff, you, you thought I came all the way up here for only one announcement? <gasps> oh, my God, yes! I don't know. Is, is there more, Reggie? You know, of, yes. of course there's more. You know, for all of the fans out there, all of the fans who love what Platinum Games does. Oh my God. Platinum Games <gasps> back on a Nintendo platform. We've got, uh, we've got one more. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Is this what I think it is? God, it's Bayonetta 3. It's. <sighs> oh, my God. Holy sh! Oh there you go, Bayonetta 3 God, Switch so exclusive excited. announced right here at the Game Awards. Right now it's time to present the Game Award for the best esports oh. player, presented by Owen by HP. In 2017, esports continued to fill stadiums and attract record audiences. That teaser was ridiculous. During the Olympics, the rest of the world is figuring out what we've long She known died. All she like literally it looked like she died. Athletes on the planet. Take a look at the nominees. She looked crazy like she was possessed. Esports e player presented by Omen. Oh by my HP. god. Damn. For a sight, I was like, is it gonna be wonderful 102? Or is it gonna be Bayonetta 3? I knew it was gonna be one of those. I'm so happy. God damn. Yes. Yes. All right, and now it's time to announce who the Game Award goes to for Best Esports Player. And the winner is, as picked by fans, Faker. Now, Faker uh, is in Los Angeles for right now. He's Ooh. actually about to go live, uh, the All-Star Game in Santa Monica at the Riot Studios. So we're going to head over there right now uh, to give Faker his award. Hi, this is Faker. Oh, goodness. Oh, God. Oh, God. Bug one. One bug. 
작년에 e스포츠 선수상을 다른 선수가 받는 걸 보고 저도 저 상을 받으면 정말 좋겠다고 생각을 했는데 그렇게 받게 돼서 정말 기쁘고요. 이제 내년에도 더 좋은 모습을 보여드리도록 하겠습니다. Hi, this is Faker. I'm really glad to receive such a, an honorous award. Last year, when I saw a different player receive this award, I was really jealous of him, and I won one for myself. I, this year, I really didn't expect to receive this award, but I think this is due to all the fans, uh, for fans voting for me, and I'll keep trying my best to show a better performance next year as well. Thank you. All right, congratulations, Faker. And now I'm really excited to share Ooh. the longest world premiere we've ever had Recovery. at the Game Awards. This comes from Ooh. the world's leading developers. And I'm so honored that it's here tonight. Please sit back and enjoy. Man, he's, they're killing me with these. Some of these have, like, destroyed my soul. Which gave birth to time and space. There was an this is Death Stranded right here. Bang which set a planet That's clearly what this is. Woof. Once there was an explosion. A bang which gave rise to life as we know it. And then came the next explosion. Alright, we're gonna are we gonna figure out what kind of game this is? Thanks oh for the resub, <laughs> Angel. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> you can hear the Yoshi stuff in the background. <laughs> Everyone's gonna be like, what the hell was that in the trip? Thanks, Angel. Invisible. Is happening to that man. Frickin' Slenderman. Oh my god. Oh no, he's dead. This man's dead now. Oh my god. Why didn't you kill him while he had the chance? Okay, there we go. Wow. 
What the hell? What? What in the hell is even happening? What the fuck? That thing's gigantic. Ugh. Some kind of like Cthulhu monster. there was an explosion a bang which gave rise to life as we know it and then came the next explosion an explosion that will be our last I st I'm still like. Ladies and gentlemen, huh? Hideo Kojima and Norman Reedus. What? I'm yeah. I'm still really confused. It's crazy. Well, did you like it? We don't. We don't know what we watched though. Like. I liked it. I'm glad you gave me some It's still like a long cinematic time. trailer. We don't really understand. We like... together. Yeah. And nothing's going to stop us this time. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> He's talking about. I, I have to say, it's Silent such Hills. an honor to work with you. Uh, you're such a genius. Seriously. 
I, I open my eyes to a whole new hey, world. I'm really confused, I but say, so I'm thank you very much. excited to play yeah. it. Sure. Yeah. I just kind of, I still want to know, like, I what it is exactly, like, what kind of game it is. I think I now have to go on the internet and try to figure out what I just watched, though. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, thanks for having us at the Game Awards. Because everything we've seen is very cinematic. So. Good night. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Wow. Kojima. <laughs> Something is... Somebody gave Kojima right, too much to soda and he was all on hyped up. Final Fantasy XIV Online is one of the sponsors of the TGAs tonight, and FF XIV Online <laughs> is a critically acclaimed MMO that combines JRPG and Western elements. No <laughs> that could have only now. come from somebody who is just currently fan communities for the game as well. <laughs> Uh, there's a revamped free trial available now that lets you play every job or class up to level 35. Thanks again to Final Fantasy XIV Online. A performance by Phoenix Aww. is coming up, and the first ever award for the best student game. Don't go anywhere. The Game Awards will be right back. I just like I don't I don't even know. Uh, I don't know. It was cool, but I still don't know what the heck happened. Oh god, the worst thing is like <laughs> the picture of the baby giving the thumbs up from inside his body. <laughs> I think I need to post that picture. <laughs> I'm gonna post that in the Discord. He's a fifth dimensional being we can never understand. <laughs> I don't know, I don't know what he's trying to get across in it, but... On, sure, let's go Destiny for it. Let's... Free trial available I'm, I'm on board, I don't understand what I signed up for, but... Sometimes you just gotta... ...do that. Oh, somebody took the, uh... The ultimate Somebody took on the Xbox uh, One. <laughs> the uh, monster from the thing, and they put it. They put Konami on top of its head. <laughs> this trailer will keep getting weirder as it goes. Sony, okay. Kojima. It's a really long trailer. <laughs> the Game Awards account tweeted what? <laughs> With the baby. <laughs> I just can't get over the baby giving like the th like having its thumb in its mouth. And then taking his thumb out and going. Welcome, a writer, director, actor, <laughs> that's, that's and the musician. best reaction gift. This is Jason Schwartzman. <laughs> Hello, how are you? Hi, how are you? Oh my uh, god. <laughs> I'm here to pay tribute to some folks who are very, very close to me. <laughs> I want to be on my deathbed at 200 way, years old and still uh, looking forward to the annual Death Stranding trailer by Cyborg understand. Kojima. And so I'm going to do it in my own way, and I'm going to also just say a very special thank you to Google Translate. Ces musiciens a grandi à jouer à la Sega Genesis. A machine that says beat revolutionnaire. Mais dans la France natale, it's called Mega Drive. I'm going to speak French and then pronounce it like Beach Volleyball. 
avec mon accent américain. Ici, pour jouer, te amo. C'est Phoenix! Dude, I, I would like one of those soundboards just for me, personally. Oh yeah, <laughs> that's perfect actually. Well done, doggy. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> that's what the baby says in the game. In, in Kojima's voice, <laughs> the baby <laughs> will say, oh yeah. <laughs> Give me the thumbs up. I have no idea what that game is, but man, like, I, I absolutely want to play it. <laughs> Question. What do you think? Do you think, like... Play. Oh, wait, never mind. I guess we don't know when it's in development, so I guess it's not a big deal. We'll just play. We'll just play Bayonetta one and two when they come out again, which I'm sure is like plenty of time to play that before Bayonetta three. Dude, that soundboard is oh the oh yeah add the oh yeah. Oh no, wait, what if the baby had the voice of, um, the Kool-Aid man? It's, yeah. Cocaine is some kind of crack. Uh, just like Death Stranding. <laughs> As in, I've, I've cracked and gone crazy. What am I playing? I don't know, but, uh... That soundboard, though. It's pretty great. Now, please welcome a YouTube supernova and one of the stars of Horizon Zero Dawn and Destiny 2. Here are I Justine and Lance Reddick. What's up, Guardians? Introducing a category for best student film, a spotlight on a new generation of game designers from high schools and colleges all around the world. Their work was judged by a panel of esteemed gaming industry veterans, including Kim Swift, Todd Howard, Hideo Kojima, oh, oh my God, and Vince Impella. The nominees are this box Vince for this box art for the, the, uh, for the show. Let's take a look at the Bayonetta is fan friggin' fantastic. Best student game. Yo. <laughs> oh, 
recording to this. Thanks for my wife, I missed a great Death Strand controller. So the air makes people old, and there's an invisible monkey, or possibly a large man, and the bodies turn into gold dust. People can still get hurt in car accidents. There are mu mud monsters that like to steal people, and some guy is carrying a baby around and a tank attached to his chest. And then the baby is in Norman Reedus' stomach. And the winner because the I guess he's best student game is <laughs> Level Squared. Thank you uh, very much for uh, actually creating this category. There's a lot of great student uh, games uh, that are being made. Just look at the other nominees uh, in the category, for example, that. And also want to thank the judges who uh, are some of our heroes. And I can't believe they actually played our game and possibly liked it. Um, I want to thank uh, most of the, the team, the rest of the teams back in Australia watching on live stream. I'm going to remember all their names. Uh, producer Kip Brennan, Dane Perry Svensson, Matt Harvey, Benedict Zeng, Mark Tan, uh, Tegan Nicholson, and Genevieve Rathgerber, as well as uh, Swinburne University and uh, the best place in Australia to learn how to make games. And also um, our teacher and mentor, Mr. Andy Trevelyan. Thank you very much. Uh, I'm graduating in a week. Somebody hire me, please. Oh god, all of the all, all of the messages in the reply right, to the Soul Calibur thing are where is the Switch? Now here's Why is it not on the Switch? Brand new game. Check it out. We got another one. Another one coming. Ooh, glowy eye skull. of Ethan Carter. What is that thing? Um, I have a gun. Painkiller bullet storm? Whoa. Whoa! It's got a flash step. Hello. First person Bloodborne? Witchfire. That looks cool. Thanks to the astronauts for that uh, announcement. Uh, now I'm here with Joseph Ferris from Hazelight. Joseph, uh, you were at the first Game Awards back 2014 uh, announcing something named Codename Hazelight. Now we know it's a way out. It's coming Reggie. out uh, next year. Uh, so how does it feel to be back at the Game Awards four years later? Look at me, man. How do I look? It's like, well, I'm like, telling you this, okay. Come on now. Ex there are like passionate people. Reggie that brings the hype. Like he I'm knew so that he had to, to bring be. something. So excited to you knew he was going to bring something. This industry yes. It's crazy, man. Like, the man this, this, just exudes kind of hype. Like, it just oozes off of his body the, the and Oscars infects everything should around him. Fuck themselves up. This is the shit. Whoa. You, this is, Wasn't ready this for is that the real one. Shit. Yikes. What is this? this is Damn. Of, just, that's one way to go with it, buddy. I'm just saying this. Let, let me tell I'm sorry I'm taking it out. Oh, let me just good. give me a minute. I want to take your time. Look. Oof. Okay, can you swear here? Can you swear? Okay. Fuck the Oscars, you know? Fuck the Oscars. Oscars. <laughs> Fuck you! Am I allowed to? Is this okay? The gaming industry is an in 
interactive experience. Where you feel it in your heart. You did a lot of films, and now you're in games. Yeah. Games, right? You know, I, I've done six features, but I don't yeah. care. But okay, we're here to talk about a way out. Let's do yeah, that. Yeah, let's get into your game. I'm All sorry, right, I'm so a little bit, no, no, I'm, I'm a little bit jet lagged. So that's excited. why I'm a bit. Uh, I'm excited. So Joseph, a way out. This is yeah. off the. Yeah. You, you showed it at E3. Yeah. People excited about it. Oh, you got Where a this skill? Of it tonight. What can you tell us about what we're gonna see tonight? What can I tell you? Yeah. My friend, I'm telling you. My friend. What I can tell you is. <laughs> this is insane. If, if the whole world tell me your game is shit, I'll tell them no, it's not. This I, guy that's how is, much uh, I believe in it. Okay. All right. I'm telling you, like if you play the game from the beginning to the end, yes. and you Goodness. see what it is, it's impossible you don't like it. Okay. Impossible. impossible. Make sure to play with a friend that's not a run and gun split screen yeah. shooter. And your friend can play with with ah, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? yeah. This is the thing. Yeah. And this is my idea. It doesn't have anything with the EA shit going on, yeah. with the loot it's box and stuff. Okay. No. <laughs> look, 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 look. I'm going to say to you one thing. I'm going to say to you one thing. EA has been very good to me. Yes. And, and, and to be honest with you, they're getting, because it's nice to hate EA, Oof. blah, blah. I don't care about that shit. What I'm saying is Oof. this. All publishers fuck up sometimes, you know? Yeah. That's how it is. Mm -hmm. They fuck up. Yeah. But that's what it is. Like, in this case, it's like they've been treating me very well. That's yeah. what I'm saying. This been... I have 100% of the income to my team for the game I'm doing, you know? And it's coming so we soon, right? Yeah, it's coming. I'm talking too long. That's Let okay. Let me talk a little That's bit. Like, oh, it's like God. We, we got a long show, Judge. We got to be oh, fair to Oh, no. Let me, let me right. continue a little bit. This, uh, this is my time to shine, man. You know how proud I am to be in this city. Uh, yeah. You flew I'm a long way. I know like, you did. This is fun. All right. It's fun. Joseph Barrett. I love this. I love this. But if you keep talking, we're not going to be able to get yeah, to the yeah, game. Yeah, I will show you. Yeah, yeah, I will show you. Oh, God. Where were we? Where were we? Uh, well, your game's coming out yeah, next yeah, year, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we have... Uh, yes. Well, should we announce the, the, the thing? I think you should yeah. announce the date and we should yeah, show yeah, the trailer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, let's look at the trailer. We can talk after. Or? No, we can. This is Okay, it. okay. Let's so check out the trailer. No, no, wait, 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 wait. Wait, wait, wait. One second, one second. Yes. Before we talk about it. So, we have something that is... We call it the friends, but it's my idea from the get-go from the first. I'm a passionate man. Nobody will ever, even if I do AAA, okay. this is an independent game. But even if I do that, it will always be the game I want yeah. it to be. I right, come to the point. A way out. We gotta we're, go. Here we go. A way out. Coming out next year. Check it out. Joseph Ferris. He's a passionate guy. Well, let's just let's just get into it. Oh my, that went on lo way longer than uh, Stop right there. than I thought it was gonna go. My God. Did our drunk uncle walk on stage and have <laughs> and I've never seen Geoff so uncomfortable. Online, you get to know these characters. Leo's brash, cocky, and quick to use force. Oh my! While Vincent is calm, this is passion. And in control. The Game Awards account tweeted it out with a laughing emoji. I certainly won't ever forget that moment from the Game Awards. We're twins. Figures. A way out's linear story will take you and a friend through a cinematic experience unlike any other co-op game. Run, run, run! Let's go! Through the story, you'll find yourself working together to All the dad jokes, you know. Let's eat. Reconnecting with loved ones. She's so. Oh God. Or high stakes moments like robbing a gas station. You ready? More memorable yeah. moments from this one than now. Uh... I say we do this the fast way, man. Just in and out. I say we do this the easy way. Let's not make a scene. Nobody moves. Stay calm. I mean, everybody was searching for a way out of that one. <laughs> a way out. <laughs> Nice. A way, a way out. A way out. The game's say, called a way out. A way out. <laughs> I can't. What's up, Game Awards? Yes, we're back. We're back, and I gotta tell you, it's oh, nice God, to see why so is many this great on games here? being celebrated tonight. But I gotta admit, I'm just a little confused. I'm a little confused because I didn't see one particular game get mentioned. All right, and of course, I'm talking about the game that plays you. That's right. We're talking about Yahtzee. Well, no, close, Kevin, but hmm? not. No, no, what do no. you mean? No, I'm talking about Jumanji. 
It's our movie. It comes oh, to theaters yes. December 20th. Yes, yes, yes. That was going to be my next guest. I'm sure it was. No, no. So what I want you guys to do is check out Jumanji, okay? Now listen, this isn't just a board game anymore. It's a video game. And all three of us get transported into the video game. Are they going to make a video game of before, this movie? Ever. To any of us. Well, I mean, it's happened to me. What? Yeah, me too. I've been in tons of games. I'm good pals with Tim Schafer, one of the greatest game designers of all time. He put me in Brutal Legend. Dwayne the Forest Ron Ranger Johnson. Johnson. Coming soon. And now we're in Jumanji. You were in the game, too. Yes, right? I was in the game, yes. Yeah, I mean, Hunter, classic midway game. Dun, I'll allow it because dun, it's the rock. Yeah. You know, I'm it's, still loving my it's three out of ten review from Game and I think Former, it's funny that he's wearing the same outfit in okay, this movie as he is in Rampage. Okay, fine, but this, Which, this by the way, I'm probably more excited to see that movie, game, right? even though it'll probably not be very good. But man, I played I played a lot of Rampage growing up. Game Awards with an extended version tonight on the PlayStation Network. Enjoy the show. Three out of ten isn't bad. It sucks. It's not that bad. <laughs> Who are you? I actually haven't seen a trailer. Who are you guys? I've seen like Welcome screenshots. To this is a video game, which means we all have special skills. We have to save Jumanji. Oh, we gonna die. <laughs> Let's do this. Coming up, we recognize games for impact, and PUBG takes us to the desert. And later, a special tribute to Overwatch and the award for best game direction. It's all on the way when the Game Awards return. Oh, more ads? So, what do you think? Mm, no. This is my favorite. Uh, no. 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 Mm, no. Hmm. <gasps> Close one. <laughs> 100 billion ways to customize your battle car in Rocket League. Play for fun. Okay, so the guy that, that went on and flicked off everybody and said after that, after this, uh, in the email that EA sent out, it says Joseph is a personality, is a plus. His passion is great, but need to watch out for controversy. <laughs> in the EA like leak thing that told us about the January Nintendo Direct, I would say, <laughs> Whew. went off. Was not expecting that. Buy a new couch. Fight legions of enemies as your favorite heroes. Fire Emblem Warriors. Switch and play. Nintendo Switch. Game rated T for Team. Oh my. What Assassin's the Creed Origins was one of your nominees for Best Action Adventure Game. And tonight, if you go to lootcrate.com slash game awards, you can sign up for this month's crate, which will include this brand new figure. I'm backstage at the Game Awards, and tonight eBay is giving our viewers exclusive offers at ebay.com slash gaming. Here's another one. $25 off an NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1070 Ti gaming graphics card. There are still two more deals coming up. For now, here's a first look at an upcoming game. Mm, another world premiere. Mm, yes, probably. <sighs> Am I dreaming or am I awake? Francis, you think the zombies around here? The old fears. They wow. still haunt me. Hold on, Lord Swing! We're coming! That I'm on a train to nowhere. You are the driver, sir. When I awake, Will I face the worst parts of myself? 
That looks a lot like. I need to listen to that quiet voice calling me. That need to make something again. We'll make it. Me and you. Terrifying. That's crazy. All right, you can see more of Dreams from Media Molecule this weekend at the PlayStation Experience in Anaheim. Uh, right now, our next presenter is someone who's had an incredible impact on the industry over the past two decades. I first met him in 1995 at the first E3, and he has built uh, PlayStation into an incredible brand that supports gamers and creators. Uh, let's take a look at uh, the story of our next presenter, Andrew House. I was doing corporate PR uh, for Sony Corporation, and somebody was asked to volunteer for this uh, crazy new project uh, around video games, and I had no idea that you know, where this would take me and what a, a wonderful journey it would be. What's new with a uh, very powerful Sony PlayStation? It's looking to be another great year for PlayStation. Hey, oh, man. Boy, it was all back. PlayStation was, is, and will remain about video games. We wanted to take the opportunity tonight to celebrate the launch of the Underground. I'm thrilled to introduce the PlayStation 4. I'm very proud to announce that PlayStation 4 will be available at $399. What better way to continue on tonight's you, theme of new reality Now you have to get a soundboard with, with this. Oh yeah, and, and that guy is vodka fueled cussing rambling. Our mission just is make to it make the PlayStation thing, the best probably. place to play you know, for gamers. Really. That's a result of our commitment to partnerships you could make a whole great soundboard from tonight. developers and storytellers right. in our media. <laughs> I'd really like to take this opportunity <clears throat> to sincerely thank PlayStation fans. I miss when they used to say 99 support. at the You're end the of the reason stuff. we do what we do and why we love this business. <clears throat> Please welcome the chairman of Sony Interactive Entertainment, Andrew House. Thank you so much for the warm welcome. Being part of the PlayStation team has been a fantastic ride, and we've come so far from that secret Skunk Works project in the early 90s. Taking something from its inception to great heights, working through some dark days, and then bringing it back <laughs> to success and relevance has been a truly special experience. At our heart, PlayStation has always been about the games. Whether it was 3D graphics, <clears throat> CD-ROM, or even more memory for the PS4. Our best choices were always guided by game Wait, creators and by gamers. Always striving to provide Sony? something new, something I better, didn't know that. something different. At PlayStation, I've had the pleasure of Sony ushering in many Sony. innovations, from PS2 to PS Now, PlayStation VR and PlayStation View. I've been blessed with a fantastic team of colleagues with immense dedication to the gamer and to the brand. And I just want to say again, Thank you for your loyalty and support. You guys really are the best. I'm also really glad to have helped bring games out of their niche as a child's pastime and into a mainstream creative medium that can rival and supersede any entertainment form. A big part of that was marketing and advertising that spoke to our fans in a different way. From You Are Not Ready, the guy in the Crash Bandicoot suit, through PS9 and Michael, 
with nods to Parappa the Rapper and Tomb Raider along the way. None of that would have happened, however, without the millions of fans around the world who embraced our platforms and our games. Thank you for always being there and for always pushing us. Hmm. But my greatest delight mm, has been forging relationships thing. with highly creative people and helping them bring their visions to life. You are really the people who have changed the face of entertainment, and I am happy to have played a small part in helping you. I am tremendously proud of what we've built together. To play a part in transforming games and entertaining millions has been an endless source of joy and satisfaction. Six PlayStation has been a huge part of my life for more than 20 years, but now Engine seemed four. to be the right time to pursue new challenges and open a new chapter. As with any parting of the ways, emotions can be bittersweet, and I'm deeply that is right. He is okay, so he is the leaving. outpouring from colleagues and from fans. Wherever the journey takes me, I treasure the friends and He's camaraderie that make our industry so special and unique. I know the future is very bright, and I can't wait to see what happens next. Thank you again for the heartwarming tribute. You did a good job. All right, and on with the show. The Game Awards recognizes lots of different types of games, including those that don't just entertain us, but also inspire us. This award is for games with profound social messages that make us think, feel, and remember what it means to be human. <clears throat> These are the Games for Impact nominees. Bury Me, My Love. Hellblade, Senoa Sacrifice. Life is Strange Before the Storm. Night in the Woods. That's a good game. Please yeah. Knock on My Door. And What Remains of Edith Finch. Apparently that's very, very good too. I need to, need to play it. And the game award goes to Hellblade, Senua's Sacrifice. Okay. <clears throat> Hellblade, Senua's Sacrifice from Ninja Theory also wins the game award for best audio design. Yeah, it did. Wow. Who said story-based games don't matter and games are a waste of time? <laughs> I think it's easy to forget that the people who truly decide what games are are the people like us, the people who make them and the people who play them, who love to play them and make them. And, and this was a game about people, real people. Um, people with severe mental illness who helped us over the two years of making this game. Clinicians, professionals, scientists who lent their professional credentials to our game and helped us make it. And of course, you know, uh, everyone at Ninja, all of the Ninjas, all our partners, Molino, who, who was the heart of, of, of Hellblade's story. And all of us, we, we, we put out a message there, a beautiful message, which um, tonight shines a whole lot brighter, so thank you very is, much. Is it thirty dollars on Steam? Say twenty five percent. Oh, no. All right, uh, uh, the Game Awards continues. We've got a lot of big awards ahead. I'm now here with C.H. Kim, the executive producer and CEO of PUBG Corporation. Uh, C.H., it's been an incredible year for you guys with uh, PUBG. I wanted to ask you, uh, how, how does it feel to be nominated and be here at the Game Awards? Yeah. I oh, know, dude. <clears throat> right now, it's 22.49. It's 25% off right now. This is a monumental moment for myself and the PUBG team. Happy to be on the stage of the Game Awards. 
It's on sale for 38 more hours. Now, uh, player there unknown's battlegrounds have sold over 24 million copies and still growing. And we Ninja wouldn't be here without the oh, fans did. Hmm. and community who made this possible. Um, now, we know you guys are going to be departing So both of those games that won are release, uh, on sale. Yes, uh, the last eight months of early access had taught us more than we ever imagined. And, and yeah, we will launch the 1.0 version soon and all new battle royal maps all right have a good night donkey available for all players without additional payment and we are looking forward to having you along for our new journey on both pc and xbox wow um now tonight you made a special video for us i know it's very important for you to show something tonight um to the fans the first look at the second map the new map the desert map right tell us about it the second map. I'm so pleased to announce that our new desert map, Miramar, will be available for play on our test servers tonight after four hours after the game awards at midnight. Pacific time and also Xbox in early 2018. Please roll the video as we are excited to reveal another surprise to you. Again, thank you to our community and fans. Is it going to be something different from the other thing that they just. Mission? Yeah, I would guess by this point people would be tired of that map. That's a, that's a lot of time to play the same map over and over. Some stuff revealed. Or actually, since you left, I didn't know if there was. They're just showing off the new map for because it's only had one map so far. Like the one game that kind of sticks out on the game of the year list nominations, you know what one. <laughs> Oh, they just went right into Destiny. 
save up to 35% on desk commercial. With Ryzen, AMD introduced one of the biggest leaps forward in processor technology, giving gamers everywhere the upper hand. Go to thegameawards.com uh, for a chance to win a Ryzen-powered yeah, PC from Alienware, Asus, Dell, HP, and Lenovo, featuring the world-class Radeon graphics yeah. processors. I mean, if you really want to hey get Looks good like at PUBG, you yeah. probably <laughs> should be playing it on your computer. Yeah. Wait. No. What? Have a good one. Check eBay and get price match guarantee on all the hottest gifts this holiday season. eBay. Then again, that's Up probably next, a hard game to be good at. the award for best performance. I don't know. But right now, it's time for it's the Game Awards next out there. eBay exclusive deal. It's a great gaming headset, the Cloud X Pro from HyperX. And now it's half price. That's right, 50% off. Quantities are limited. Stick around. Our final offer is coming back soon. Now back to the show. From the upcoming Star Wars The Last Jedi and the Planet of the Apes Last Frontier, please welcome Andy Serkis. Oh. Hi there, everybody. It's a real thrill to be here. So thank you very much for having me. It's also time in to Black present Panther. the award for best performance. Now, yeah. I've been lucky enough over the years to play a lot of digital characters, so I do know how much skill and craft goes into creating a performance in a game. Now, whether it involves motion capture, uh, facial capture, voice acting, or all three at the same time. The powerful performances that these five nominees have delivered are nothing short of inspirational. So, here are the nominees. Best performance. I came from somewhere. Even if it destroys me, I will see this through. I mean, I you can I... help, or you can get out of my way. We we wrote, she did a right. good job. Put the fighting spirit back in the American people. People gotta know they don't have to take this shit no more. Chloe Fraser, collector of antiquities. The greatest treasure. Now that's not an easy find. What a shaver. I mean, she seemed like she did a good job in the, the early stuff that I saw. Well, they, I mean, they both seemed like they did a good job early. Yeah. Yeah. And the game award goes to Melina Jurgens Hellblade. Hellblade taking home another she's taking home one another award. Wow. Awesome. Yeah. Andy, I really respect your work, and it's such an honor to get an award 10 from you. <laughs> oh, she's so um, excited. Yeah, I'm super nervous. Um, I'm actually Ninja Theory's video editor. I'm not an actress at all. <laughs> <laughs> so, Hellblade has been my first ever acting job. I've never done anything like that at all in my life, and... I just want to thank Ninja Theory and my team so much for supporting me and being patient with me and giving me this chance to prove that I can do it and believing in me. And, um, sorry, I had to write a few notes. <laughs> um, also, so much uh, thank you to our fans that have been following our Dev Diaries right from the start. We've been um, filming behind the scenes from year one to year three, like everything that we've been doing and we've built up a huge fan base that are just amazing and so supportive and um, I just want to say that I feel so honored to um, I just feel so honored that I had the opportunity to give a voice to people that are suffering from mental health issues and it's just been such a great journey for me thank you so much <laughs> And now, here's a first look at a brand new game. Hey, I mean, I feel like there's way more than I even like thought there would be, which is pretty great. 10 collective chambers. Every night without fear. There are 
different people every time. Let's get this done quickly. Get whatever the warden want and get home. But I recognize them somehow. What the hell is this place? They're screaming at me. I don't hear them, but I know they're screaming. You got anything? Such hate and anger. I hope you bastards are looking up once in a while. Those fuckers might be anywhere. I don't know what I have done to them. This place is so damn dark. Sleepers. They want me to feel what they feel. This is good, man. This is good stuff. It'll trade. Everything trades. Ah, oh, fuck. To be honest, any second. Keep your eyes on that door. Ah, oh, shit. There's fucking loads of them. Zombie game? Another zombie game? Oh. Are they monsters or are they just zombies? Then I wake up. I'm not sweating or screaming. I'm perfectly calm. I just open my eyes and I'm awake. And it's not a nightmare. It's just part of me. Who I am. Fight it. I just live around it. What the hell? GTFO. Work together or die together. All right, and joining me right now from 10 Chambers is Ulf Anderson. Uh, Ulf, you guys are a 10-person team. Those are the 10 Chambers. Yeah. Built that all. This is an independent game. You it's a 10-person team? That looks really history, cool. Tell us a bit about this game, because it looks incredible. We're actually uh, eight guys right now. Eight. But yeah, oh, so only we have, eight we have a people okay. made so that game? To max 10? Yeah, max 10. Max 10. That's so eight wow. guys, you guys built that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's incredible. actually really amazing. Uh, a lot of work, but uh, yeah. So, so tell us about that four-player co-op. Obviously, you're known for a lot of work on Payday. Uh, you know, what kind of game are we going to get? Uh, this is we're trying to deliver. Looks like it looks like it was like made by a much bigger team. Combat stuff and going heavily into like teamwork, really demanding teamwork stuff. Yeah. Uh, but it's also like puzzle solving in uh, cooperative and and you know trying to sort of shake it up a bit. Yeah, and that was all in-game, right? Yes, guys, yes, yeah. all in-game, yeah, yeah. Wow, well, it looks absolutely incredible, Thank and you're just starting out on the journey to developer, right? So, yeah. Oh, wow, well, well, I've done this a couple of times, but I yeah. As a no, new, I said uh, this game. Yeah, you yeah, yeah. see it anytime soon, or? Uh, oh, you mean the release? Yeah. You know, like, yeah, this year, probably. Okay. Something this year, Okay. in some shape or form. We're a right. small studio, so yeah. we have to sort of Oh, were there other ones that they... No, it's an incredible Didn't accomplishment. I love having announce? you know the big teams here, but also the small teams. <laughs> Eight, I know you guys. Is there really like a website or something yeah, where they I have mean, them? This whole thing up? sort of changed uh, everything for us. We were only focusing on gameplay. Because I feel like there's and, probably uh, some that, that they call, just you know, and, uh, by it offhand just, mention like you know, on Twitter or something. Everything up, upside down for us, and then and the audio I, direction it's because actors. Because TGA, we're yeah. at this point right now. Oh, wow. It wouldn't be the same game without it so all right well, thank we, you we can't thank wait you. to play it congratulations to you and your team uh gtfo check it out the game awards will be right back thanks all. the game awards aren't done yet coming right up the award for best game direction and later the hotly contested race for game of the year reaches the finish line Streaming live around the world, this is the Game Awards 2017. Do you think they'll save, like, a game or two for the very end of this that they're gonna show? Or something? Head to the sensor array. I think it can help us scan the anomaly. Incoming Jack! For a limited time, get Lone Echo free when you buy a rift at Oculus.com slash Lone Echo. 
Mm-hmm. Did you play through the whole thing? Winning that many awards, it must be pretty good overall. Like, oh, nice. Well, like I said, it is on sale, so if anybody else who hasn't played it yet wants to pick it up, I recommend doing that within, I think it's like, I think it's like a 30 hour sale or something like that. McDonald, I can't get can't get behind this. <laughs> Don't order McDonald. He's the creative Why director of another round of studios McDonald's. and the director so. of Injustice 2. Tonight's winner for best fighting game. Sense. Please welcome Ed Boon. Do like some Jimmy John or something? Some Chinese food. Thank you. When you're, first, like a little bit more when you're first designing idea. a game, the only limits you have are your imagination. When you're developing a game, the only limits you have are tools, technology, your team, budgets, E3. <laughs> I didn't think Is it like literally you off. call them? Um, They're like okay. right there. But the, I mean, uh, but the, the great game developers managed to find a way to go over and get it to, and I guess they got to get it to you fast, though, because it's already pretty much made there. And so. do that on a consistent basis. I guess there this is that. List of the nominees what happens if you were, direction. like, working and you, like, delivered it and somebody ordered, like, a ton of food and you get there and it's only one person? <laughs> mm, Horizon's been on a lot of these lists. Evil by hazard. This house is off Odyssey. Wolfenstein. We gotta set this right. Put the fighting spirit back in the American people. How do you know if they didn't eat? Oh, I don't want to think about that. God, I'm so excited to play that DLC. I haven't I mean, checked in a while to see if they've gotten stuff updated. Like when they said tonight, what did they mean? That's the question. Cool, is it? And the game award goes to Legend of Zelda. <gasps> Zelda won. What? Tonight, the Legend. I didn't think Zelda, Zelda would win that one. Miles also wins the game award for best action adventure game. So Breath of the Wild won. Two, and if they win game of the year, they can win three. Yeah. He's got his translator there. Thank you for this wonderful Maybe. award. <laughs> trying to see if anybody else is trying to check this to see if this is up yet. No game design wa honto ni ooku no staff tachi to nagai aida suoku. Game design of Breath of the Wild is the result of long hours of work by many people on the development staff. There's gotta staff. be like an update for this sometime, right? I'm so very happy to receive such an award, uh, and it's a great honor. え、ライネルに立ち向かっ
To everyone who stood toe to toe against the Lionel or discovered a hidden shrine, collected a few Korok seeds, we say so thank you. Cute. Congratulations to Nintendo for that uh, win. Now, don't forget to check, check out some incredible discounts on Game Awards nominees as part of the PlayStation Store Game Awards sale with over 50 no games discounted yet. today and tomorrow, including a nominee tonight, NBA 2K18. Right now, we have another world premiere. Take a look at Metro Exodus. Metro Exodus? Wait, didn't... I thought they... Sh did they show this game at E3? Um, maybe they showed a game with a similar name. Okay. Intentional best-selling novel, Metro 2035. There's no one out there, Artyom. No one to help us. No one to hear us. Nothing yet on this. That's a good idea to if have there was. Please Don't go. you think we'd have found them? Okay. This world is dying. We have to accept it. <clears throat> There's only us. Why do you keep going up there? What are you hoping to find? Yeah. Each time you go out there, I wonder if you'll ever return. The metro is all we have left. And I don't want to die here alone. Whoa, that, that is a face, um... Ugly. I was thinking if they showed... the original trailer off of this game, but maybe... Yes, I'm pretty sure they did. I think they showed off the original trailer for this game at E3. Like, yeah, they did. They, did. they showed off the original trailer for this game at E3. the last metro game like really all right coming up game of the thing. year last year blizzard introduced oh. us to the world of overwatch which went to win uh game of the year last year on this very stage as you may remember well this year overwatch's universe continues to expand one uh best uh, ongoing game as you saw earlier and also one best esports game and as we lead up to our final award of the night game of the year blizzard wanted to thank its fans for their continued support once again here's the game awards orchestra with this look at the world of Overwatch. Can do some Overwatch music. It's been pretty long, man. About three hours. Single-player games are still relevant. <laughs> oh, God. 
trash. I mean, it's true. I mean, yeah, more categories for that kind of stuff, you know. There's, the multiplayer games have their own category, that's fine, you know. I've had plenty of fun multiplayer games, sure. To go along with all those more narratively genre kind of pushing. Character driven stuff. AMD technology is thrilled to power the it's next of generation of the world's best games from publishers, including Bethesda's Wolfenstein 2 and Square Enix's collective indie program. Learn more and enter to win an AMD powered PC. We didn't see anything um, yet from like, I don't think we saw any new Square stuff, so we didn't see like the Avengers Project or. I don't know, I mean, I don't think there's a ton of stuff that they do. I know that's what my Switch looks like right now. It's all Xenoblade all the time. God, I love that fucking game already. Atop living Titan worlds, Xenoblade Chronicles 2, Switch and Play, Nintendo Switch, game with T for T. All night, we've been revealing exclusive offers from eBay just for the Game Awards. The Xbox One S with a three-month pass, 50% off a HyperX headset. But now it's time for the final offer. A brand new 34-inch LG widescreen monitor for almost half off. Head to ebay.com slash gaming right now for any of these exclusive we'll offers. Of Plus, over 2 million active listings on games and hardware that make perfect holiday gifts. All from our partners at eBay. Look at the guys like run across the, 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 like they're grabbing the tennis been balls. It has an incredible year in gaming, so many outstanding titles. Uh, it has been a highly competitive race for Game Those of the Year. Those are the true MVPs of the award show. votes since the nominations were announced. And here to perform one last time, along with all the nominees, please welcome the Game Awards Orchestra. It's going to be some good music. No, I don't know what the music is like in PUBG, honestly. But uh, the music in all those other games... It's really good. <laughs> this is Horizon right here. <sighs> Persona 5 has fantastic soundtrack. Yeah. I wish Nier was one of those, because then we could hear some Nier music. Uh, where's Bree? Bree, are you still here? It's your game. It's okay, many of us still need to play Persona 5. <laughs> Just listen to the music.
Oh my god. <laughs> I immediately kicked into a different gear. Because that is... That is Persona music. I would say if there was a category for, like, prettiest UI, I would probably give it to Persona. <laughs> like, the UI in that... Well, I guess this is what Player Unknown Battleground music sounds like. I've never really heard it. Um... The, the UI in that game is... Just, it's so stylized and... Yeah, Persona always has great music. Oh, they j they're putting on they're putting Mario music on there too. I forgot about that. I didn't even I, for I completely forgot that it was on that list. <laughs> oh, they got the actual singer to come sing. Wow, I didn't think they'd do that. Look at all the Mario hats. What the heck? You see all those people? You see all the Mario hats? What the heck? <laughs> They're all possessed. They're all captured. Oh my god. They should just do like orchestras for all of those games. That would be great. Thank you, I know they had the Zelda one, but they should just like do orchestras for all of them. Persona all right, 5, well, uh, let's hear it again for Ed Tryback in our Game Awards oh, Orchestra all night tonight. Wasn't that, that great? We should just do a whole like, do that again next year. all of Persona Bring game. Back. All right. Well, it has been, been an cool. amazing celebration of everyone. truly great games this year, but there can only be one game of the year. So one last time, I'd like to recap the five nominees. Horizon <laughs> Zero Dawn from Guerrilla Games. A Way Out. Developers, Tommy Wiseau. Publishers, Tommy Wiseau. Directors, Tommy Wiseau. Producers, Tommy Wiseau. The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild from Nintendo. I'm done. Persona 5 from Atlas. Player Unknown's Battlegrounds from PUBG Corp. Freshman year versus senior and year. And Super Mario Odyssey, also from Nintendo. And now I'm happy to announce the winner for Game of the Year is selected by 51 global media and influencer outlets and the fans. And this year... The I don't have a the, Vita. The, of the year goes to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. There it is. My boy, Link. This is my, boy. my boy, my boy, my boy, my boy, my boy. I wonder what's for dinner. Best game direction. You gotta do the eye roll. I wonder what's for dinner. <laughs> I feel like that's the best way to celebrate.
Casablanca, América. It was expected. <laughs> Aww. Aww. What? What? A, like, think about it this way. When they when they gave him the series. And they gave Ayanuma the series. Thank you so very much for the, the like how 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 like how hard it is to like take on a series like that. that everybody expects to be really amazing each time, and they kind of found a way to reinvent it. It's pretty cool. I think it's more like that than anything else. Like it's the fact that they they just they kind of push that genre of what you really expect from a Zelda game to the point where it was way, way, way different. I'm really happy that I ended up making games. えっと、挑戦と冒険をしてきた。ついにできたゲームです。でも今、え、この挑戦と冒険っていうのは僕たちスタッフ全員を成長させてくれたなと思ってます。Um, you know, 本当に改めてお礼を言いたいと思います。ありがとうございます。あの、この賞をいただいた喜びを胸に私たちはこれからも皆さんの期待に応えられるような素晴らしい驚きに満ちたゼルダを作っていこうと思いますのでご期待ください
you guys enjoy the games that you want to enjoy. If they weren't featured here on the show, that's fine. Just go out, have fun, and enjoy your games. We all like video games. That's why we're here in the first place. So you guys have a good night, and I'll see you later. Bye, guys.